What's up, YouTube? It's my CEO of MBB Co here. I am back with another video. Okay. So, yes, it's been long overdue since you've seen me. But check out my last video. I just did a DIY video on how to make a African back soap facial cleanser. So, you guys can go check that out. I'll link it down in the description down below. But today, I'm going to do kind of like a vlog. Well, it's going to be a mixed video. I was requested to do like a vlog, like a business type of thing. So, um, I'm going to do a vlog. I'm getting my nose pierced today, you guys. So, that's super exciting. I've been wanting to get my nose pierced for the longest. But this is the fit. I'm not all the way dressed yet. But, you know, that time, you know. Yeah, and then I'm either going to do a video of how to make a rose facial serum or my Valentine's Day collection, my sweetheart collection for Valentine's Day. I'm not quite sure yet. Or maybe both, I don't know. No, not both. But whatever. So today I'm just going to go take you guys with me to get my nose pierced and like a little vlog or like a little routine, a mini routine of what I do in a, like a little day in my life mixed with a DIY video so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah <laughs> That's your pierce. So you're going to stay right there for me. A little bit of pressure. I'm going to slide a taper. This helps me install the jewelry. Beautiful. I'm going to slide the jewelry in now. Just a little bit of pressure again. Jewelry again. And I'm snapping a little top on. Matt, tissue for your eyeball. Thank you. So this point of the video is now the start of the DIY from my Rose Galore Facial Serum. First you want to start with your mixing tool and add a cup of sweet almond oil and pour that into a one cup measuring cup thing majigger. <laughs> And here I ran out of the smaller one I had, but I have a bigger one as well, so I use that to fill up the rest. Now you want to take a half a cup of the jojoba oil. Now you want to take one fourth cup of the rosehip oil. And here you will see me running out of it. <laughs> So, uh, this actually took two days for me to finish making this video because I had to wait for more to come. So, yeah, 
I only put half in in this clip. And then you want to put in two tablespoons of the tea tree oil. You then want to give everything a good mix. And in this clip, now you'll see me adding the other half of the rosehip oil. So this is like two days later. <laughs> then you just want to give everything a good mix again. And now you're ready to fill your bottles up. I got my um, organic rose petals from Amazon and I used a the another like the little tweezers there to fill them up. And here's how they look once they're all done. You then want to grab a syringe. This is going to help you fill up your bottles. Be sure to when you're doing this process that you're not overfilling your tubes and so that you can prevent any spillage. These will be releasing on my website January 22nd, this Friday. I don't know when I'm going to release this video, but maybe when it's out, it'll probably be already on my website. So be sure to go check that out and shop with us and support, you know, everything helps. Here I tried to see if I can squeeze it up with a pipe edge. This was a little time consuming, so I suggest to just do the syringe. It's really not worth going back and forth with that little thing. <laughs> January 22nd save the date and these are my tops super cute the gold as you guys can see when I'm rebranding all my products and my packaging it's gonna consist of gold theme so everything is pretty much gold so yeah well gold and pink but mostly gold be sure to follow us on Instagram at mbbeautyco yeah super cute i love how these came out y'all but yeah and all you have to do is just sanitize them because if you have oils on it just sanitize it and then add your labels and you're done bye